The nightmare is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. We only have a short time. Ask what you must. Um. Do you remember what happened? You must know what really happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. As must you. The answer lies in your memories. Lost to the nightmare when you last walked the Fade. Or you could just tell me. Would you trust my words? Trust what you have seen. Tell me about the anchor. What can you tell me about this mark on my hand? You already know how the mark came to be upon your hand. As for what it is, it is the needle that pulls the thread, as well as the key. I don't understand. It is the needle that passes through the veil, as little else can. You are the thread, and it is the key that locks or unlocks a door to the Fade. It lets you walk in the Fade physically, and survive. Without it, Corypheus must find another way to the Black City. It is part of you now, and cannot be removed without your death. Is anything here real? So, all of this is just a dream? Part of the Fade? It is not just a dream. The minds of mankind are made real here. Their hopes, their loves, and their fears. What changes their world also changes this one. And yours are footsteps that move mountains in both. Tread carefully, Inquisitor. This ground is more treacherous than you know. Tell me about the nightmare. I'd like to know more about the nightmare. It is not simply fear. It is the terror you cannot remember, the horror your mind erases to protect you. When old memories no longer make the veteran soldier's hand tremble, it is because the nightmare has taken them. Most people avoid their fears. It is simple for the demon to steal the darkest fragments. They forget, and it feeds. Corypheus has helped it grow monstrous. That sounds almost kind. It makes people forget the worst parts of their fears. It almost sounds like the nightmare is helping people. Perhaps it was, once. But now, it helps none but Corypheus. By his hand, it creates more fear and grows even stronger. In any case, robbing people of their fears is never a kindness. At best, it is a mistake born of compassion. Without fear and pain and failure, we cannot learn. We cannot grow, as you cannot grow until you recover all that was taken from you. What are you? So, can you tell me who... what you are? I told you. I am helping you. Yes, but are you her, or some kind of fade remnant of her? Or a spirit imitating her? Our world is never that simple. What if the answer is none of those things? Or all of them? I am what the Maker made me. The question is, are you what the Maker made you, Inquisitor? Mm. I think this was all an accident. Seems like I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Or perhaps you were precisely where you were meant to be. Just as the Maker intended, I suppose. Perhaps. You still haven't answered my question. What are you? I am what you see. All other answers rest in you. Um, I would have to look it up to confirm, but the voice for Justinius also sounds like Celine. Why are you helping? Tell me why you're here. Why take part in this? After heaven, I hid here. I watched quietly, learned what I could, and searched for some way to help. And then you came. I don't know what that means. Corypheus and the Nightmare do an injustice to the world. You must stop them. Perhaps you were meant to stop them. 
Perhaps that is why I am here. So, no answers to anything. We should keep moving. Okay. Let's go pick up more memories. Ooh. No left by brain cancer. Lunette, the breach is sealed and the war between the Templars and the Mages is finally over. All our fear and terror is finally ending as order returns to this world. I wish you could see the people celebrating at Haven. It is everything you would have wanted when you left for the Conclave. I will make your sacrifice a worthy one. What we do here with this fledgling Inquisition will shape all of Thetis. I will make you proud. Your flame will burn forever as a beacon of hope. Something is happening. The ground is shaking and the soldiers are running to the gates. Rest well at the Maker's side, my daughter. I will sing your memory again soon. I love Halloween. More demons. But he's fighting everything. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Okay. That. Ah! Child's simple handwriting. The door is open. Mother said to run. She said the dark spawn were coming. She wanted me to go. The door is open. It was closed when I left. She said she would be right behind me. She said not to come back no matter what. The lamps are lit all over the village, even during the day. To see through the smoke, mother should be here by now, but the door is open. I'm going to look inside. Ugh. Ugh. What are you vibrating at? be after this. This is back in here. No. It's gonna be after this. Excuse me. Go! Is there something back here? Yes. Fears of the dreamers, the Grey Warden. I joined the Wardens to serve in glory. No blade would touch me, nor any claw pierce my armor. Still, I was fated by joining to die. Alone in the deep roads, the calling in my mind. I sat by the last campfire I would see, allowing myself one last night of terror and curse the fate that brought me here. Let it be my choice to have served and died. Let it be nobility rather than the dread hand of fate. Destroy my destiny and let this be my decision. Okay, so I gotta find something for you somewhere. Keep running. That's how we, how I escaped. The demon! Keep running! Ah! How did she get in front of you? Go! It was you. They thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... She died. Yes. We've been following a demon, then. You don't know that. I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. <laughs> I am sorry if I disappoint you.
Did you watch her? The Nightmare watched Corypheus and grew powerful off the fear. Were you like that for the Divine? A spirit watching her from the Fade inspired by her faith. If that is the story you wish to tell, it is not a bad one. What we do know is that the mortal Divine perished at the Temple, thanks to the Grey Wardens. Corypheus controlled them. We've discussed this already. This spirit has no further revelations. We should work on getting back to Adamant alive. Yes, Adamant. Where the Inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the Wardens. I see. Atrocities are your purview alone. You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion. To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic. <sighs> Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. Agreed. The Wardens may once have served a greater good, but they are far too dangerous now. What are you saying? You want to get rid of the Wardens? Everyone makes mistakes. They would have died to save us. Don't know that we can pass judgment on the only folks who know how to stop blights. So the argument between them is actually more heated depending on the companions you bring with you. So I have two that are for keeping the warden, so that conversation was a little more civil. Um, also, one of the scenes that people were upset with because Hawk does the same thing no matter how you view their character. Um, can we just get out of here first? This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. More spiders. The Nightmare has found us. Form up. I'm with you. Oh, Come, real or not, the divine is the key to escaping from the fade. Hop your okay, it's fine. So I needed to get that guy a thing. This guy, he needs a thing. He might be ahead of me instead of in this area. Oh, that's probably what that's probably what I was trying to find. When I was up here. Cairn Logan McTeer, the brilliant commander. Pity the one time you tried to rule, you failed so miserably. You had to be beaten, humiliated, lest you destroy your own country. You even doomed the Wardens by bringing the Inquisitor down on them. You destroy everything you touch. And all you've got It's nothing I've not said to myself. If you have um, Alistair with you? I don't remember what the Nightmare says, but Alistair's reply is, uh, I've heard worse from Morrigan. Take this. Is this what he wants? A tarot card. I don't know why. Oh, I guess. Okay, Hand of Fate. Alright. Sure. I thought I saw a, a green thing, but I think I collected it from it. <laughs> Excuse me. It's to the left. Oh, I want that. Sure. What's all these keyholes? Squares? Diamonds? Um. Do you think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus himself. The demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, uh, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you, every fear come to life. <laughs> Up. 
upstairs or down? Let's go up. Wants our fear. Deny it, and it has nothing. The temple of Demot. Look upon the temple of Demot, god of silence, who speaks to the faithful in dreams. No words of desire may sway his will. No cry of valor may stand against him, for his silence conquers all. And his secrets are shared only with the worthy. Look upon the temple of Demot and fear him. etched in stone and blood. I made the expected offerings this morning, but the gods remained silent. The priests are frightened. All of Tevinter is frightened. Our gods have led our people for centuries. Now they have gone still. Are we alone here in this world? No better than the savages to the south who beg for guidance from spirits. And what of the strange creatures who come from underground, like our friends, the dwarves? These spawn of the darkness and the plague they carry. Why do our gods not protect us from this? Now the ground shakes. The statue cuts my hands as I fall against it. A great roar sounds. It is massive, shaking the temple market, and I see the silhouette city in the sky. It is a dragon. No, it is Dumat. I have made the offering so many times. His form is as familiar as my own hand. He has returned in glory to destroy these dark spawn that threaten us, to lead to Vinter back to an age of glory and wonder. But no, his scales are sickly and molted, his form twisted and corrupt. Like the darkspawn themselves, he opens his great maw and fire billows forth, igniting the market. The flames rush toward me. What did we do wrong? Memories somehow caught in the blood on an ancient Avenger statue. Can't get over this rock! Okay. child. Haven is burned. Mama cries when I'm not looking. It's cold in the mountains and my feet hurt. But Mama says to hush that others have it worse. She says a monster named Corypheus came to Haven and it was only the maker's blessing that let us escape. I don't feel blessed. The monsters come every night when I sleep and I don't want to wake Mama crying again. I miss Sir Snort. Sir Snort always kept the monsters away in my dreams. So we need to find you a teddy bear of some sort. Okay, I don't want to go too far that way. Let's look back here. Over here. There it is. Stuff nug. Broken window light the flames. Um. Oh. Okay, interesting. This one. Nope. This one. This one. Okay. Ah. Excuse me, guys. This 
one. This one. Excuse me, excuse me. What happened? Must be loot. Oh. Huh. Okay. This is, I think, to Vinter. But I have no idea what it is or what I just did. Here's your nug. I don't think there's anything else back this way, but I might as well double check. I think we're coming back this way anyway. to be the black city way up there? I'll see it behind me. Ah! Goodbye! <laughs> okay. Alright, so just don't touch that door. Wanna, okay, let me save, just in case. I don't want the, uh, the end to trigger. Because I need to go downstairs. Let's go this way. Let's do be safe. Let's go this way. Excuse me. on my deep fear of having wet calves. Oh. The scholar, when the dark spawn were new, when the magisters had just brought them to our world with their sin, I was among the first to call myself a Grey Warden and swear to end the blight that threatened our world. We had seen the archdemon die from mortal blows, only to rise again from the body of one of its servants. It could not die. I searched in vain for some way to kill the beast and save my world. I slept in fear with no solution knowing only that the blight the Magisters had brought would destroy everything because I could not save it. Show me what must be done to slay the Archdemon. Show me what I need to save my world. So yeah, let me find that somewhere. Let's take care of these guys. Pick it up. Okay, so this is everybody's worst fears. So Cassandra's is helplessness. Dorian's is temptation. Sarah is the nothing. Which might also be the void. Maybe. Solus is dying alone. What else do we have here? Varric becoming his parents. Vivian is a revelance. Iron Bull is madness. Blackwall is himself. Cole is despair. I'll have to think about what Anans would be.
Chantry candle stuff. That's what we keep picking up. Waters of the Fade. It is unclear whether the water here is a manifestation of the Fade or physical water that has poured in through one of the rifts somehow. Possibly the rift in Crestwood. Oh no. Upstairs? No? No, this looks different. Or is this where we came out? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Okay. Alright, so we went upstairs there. Okay. So the laws of nature in the fade. It is simple to say that the laws of nature do not apply in the fade, but while traveling in the fade is often confusing for mages. It is rarely so chaotic as to defy description. In fact, while the placement of items may seem random, most items usually operate as we would expect them to in the real world. A book opens to show pages, although the pages may be blank or lined with gibberish. A pen and inkwell let a user write, though the pen may write on its own and the inkwell never runs dry. Those items that float usually hover at the relative height where they would have sat had the objects meant to support them existed. Candles suspended in the air as though held by a phantom candlestick, for example. Why are the laws of the maker bent but not fully broken? Why does a book not turn into a dragon or a statue explode into countless shards of energy? The answer, I believe, lies in the fact that the items we see in the Fade were most often made by the hands of men. A statue is a created thing. The mortal hands that shaped it gave it purpose, and it knows what it is meant to do. The objects that strain against the laws of nature are, ironically, those that are more natural themselves. Great stones, for example, hang in the sky. No hand has ever touched them, no mortal mind shaped them to purpose. I suspect, though, we may never know, that if dwarves dreamt and shaped the fade with their own perceptions, the rocks would not float. <laughs> From the Shape of the Fade by Enchanter Euphinius Asari. <laughs> the dwarves dropped. The rocks wouldn't float. Ah. Okay, so we went upstairs there. I'm gonna say I don't see any floating rocks, but they're definitely floating rocks. the fate of heroin. I found myself on a plateau of swirling smoke and mist. I could not see my feet, or perhaps I had no feet in that place. Each step was treacherous. I had to believe there was a ground. If I didn't, there wouldn't be, and I would fall into nothingness. I was protected only by my will and my magic. The demon they made me face took the shape of a great cat. As we battled, it spoke in my mind. It told me that I would eventually stumble, and then it would pounce. The demon talked to me of the Templars beyond the veil, standing over my paralyzed body, their swords pointed at my heart, waiting for the moment of my failure. All it would take was a splinter of fear, a seed of doubt, and I would be unmade. The demon would devour my mind, and the Templars would destroy what was left of me. This was my harrowing. They forced this upon all mages and call it good. 
but it is neither good nor right. It is evil and unjust. From a partially destroyed journal bearing no name. I hope you passed. Are these deep stalkers? What are these? They're like large deep stalkers. didn't return that to that guy, so I should do that. That is important. It's on this side. There we go. I wonder if these fears are prayers that were caught up? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't go down the middle because there's not a good path down the middle. But I think we found everything. Just making sure. We can't, like, go out this far. Because we'll just, we'll just sink. Look! More spiders. Looking for stuff. I don't think there's anything here. Strength. Oh, okay. Not done. 